Hi, Dr. Paul Hader here. I think you probably heard this story, but I'm going to say it again. There's a, a little old lady, and her son came into her house, and she said, I lost my keys to my car. And she runs outside and starts looking all over in the bushes, and they can't find the, the keys, and it's not there. And finally the son says, well, where exactly were you when you dropped these keys? Oh, I think I was in the house. So why are we looking out here? Because the light's better out here. <laughs> and that kind of sums up a lot about what we do in our life. A lot of times we try to find answers to life out there. Sometimes we'll go to Nepal to find the answers. We'll go to, you know, different spiritual places and we'll go to on trips. Anything except to go inside in the silence and then find the true life. As Buddha said, if you really want to find life, then you have to look inside. And it's in the Book of the Dead, Tibetan Book of the Dead, and the Quran, and just about every spiritual text says the same thing, that you, if you really want to find life, you got to look inside. And to understand that a lot of stuff that we went through, actually we went through, but if somebody else were to go through it, they may not even have the same emotional response to it. Think about your brothers and sisters that were in the same house and they don't remember the same past as you do because maybe they experienced it in a whole different way. So allow yourself to look inside and look at what's going on inside of you and heal that which is inside of you and then you will really find true life. Because life is not out there. As the Native Americans say, it's all the dream of the dreamer. And we take it for reality, but it's just a process that's unfolding to help us to understand ourselves. And there's a lot of lessons that come along, and I think that's great. It's not easy. <laughs> no doubt about it. And when we can understand that the lessons are good, even though they hurt sometimes, hurt a lot. And we can understand those lessons and be okay with the pain, then we come a long, long ways. And then we can grow from that point to become free. And when we no longer shun looking inside, we become that light. We become one with the light. And we are no longer separate from the light. We are one within the one. So allow yourself to do your meditation. Allow yourself to read the spiritual texts. And read them over and over and over again until you finally it sinks in and clicks with you in some way. And allow yourself to contemplate and have time to be in nature where it's during those times that you find great peace and you awaken something in that you won't find without outside in the world have a wonderful day I love you